Okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank good, you. Good. So perfect. So I just want to talk to you all about, you know, this amazing new show that we're all excited about. And I would love to hear everybody can go in whichever order. But, you know, what first drew you to this show that made you say, I have to put my name and brand to it? We can go pressing. Um, oh, sorry, Jordan, you were muted. Oh, I was oh. muted by accident. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the vineyard, right? Like, I think like exploring the history of the vineyard for me was absolutely part of the reason to do it. Um, also, our friendships are just largely organic, right? So, like, out of the twelve of us, I knew eight people already, and have had relationships with him already. And Silas is my line brother. So I felt comfortable. Also, I met Jasmine several times, was in their wedding, et cetera. Um, also, you know, not to hashtag representation matter us. <laughs> because <laughs> That's a long hashtag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I do feel there was an opportunity um, as, a, as a Black gay person, as a queer person to showcase myself, our community, and our very interesting perspective sometimes and i don't think you Thank really you see minute. a lot of times gay folks in groups with straight folks in a healthy way yeah. um and so i really appreciated that opportunity but look i mean listen it's some beautiful folks so why not nice thank you jordan <laughs> before we get to you preston what frat are you in uh alpha oh me too so that's good so we're oh, already here, frat. So we're here. Yes. <laughs> perfect jordan now you I mean, really just to piggyback off of what Preston said, we already had these existing relationships, well, for the most part. Um, and we'd already traveled together to Martha's Vineyard, you know, the year before where Jasmine kind of collectively brought her friends and Silas brought his and we all met. Um, and so we were doing what we'd regularly do. And so now it was just the added opportunity of showing everyone else that Martha's Vineyard is a place of luxury for black folks um showing the history of Martha and showing how we turn up with class <laughs> I love that turn up with class <laughs> perfect Amir I don't know. um what really drew me to it was honestly the opportunity to just hang out with a bunch of cool like black black people like, <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even gonna beat around the bush I mean everyone is so great in their respective fields um, mm -hmm. and I was just like, I want to rub shoulders with these people because ultimately it's going to elevate me. And so when the opportunity arose, I was like, yes, why not? Why not learn a little bit about heritage roots, but also do it with people that have the chance to elevate me as a professional. Nice. I love that. Okay. So we get into this show, right? Everybody gets together. We get this whole real world college hill type of vibe, but on an elevated, you know, the black excellence level, everyone is in, you know, real estate, running nonprofits, lawyers, right? So what's one thing you all learned about yourself during this show? Like, did you say, man, I can get as crazy. I didn't know I could get that crazy. Did you say, I really don't like people like that, or <laughs> you know, you let me know. <laughs> it looked like you're gonna have the ladder. <laughs> I had a couple moments where I was like, "Why am I here?" Um, <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the best way possible, but yeah, it, it's been a while since I lived all at once with so many other people. Um, I certainly haven't done that as an adult. So it was just a learning curve of that. Obviously you got cameras around, so there's that's an added factor. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was sophisticated chaos. Sophisticated. I love it. <laughs> I love the the jargon here. The lexicon is perfect. This is the this is the conversation on the lexicon. What about you, Preston? <laughs> it was, I love it. It was such an organized mess. I mean, I think, you know, I think for me, I, I don't know, I think in many instances, I was more patient than I thought I would be, because the truth of the matter is, I really don't say everything that's on my mind, contrary to popular belief, <laughs> and everyone yes. should be happy about that, <laughs> because, Lord, there's a lot to say, um, but no, like, it was, it was such a good moment, but it was definitely like, uh, like a, an extra dorm room, <laughs> right, it's like, what in the dorm building is happening, <laughs> um the camera is just added to the organized mess um but no like I, I think overall right fun times but I do think for myself I learned I was a little bit more patient than I ever thought I was nice I love to hear that what about you Amir 
I'm actually going to have to swing the opposite way of Preston, which is not very normal. Um, I found out that I wasn't as resilient as I thought I was to be. You know, I let my temper and my emotions get the best of me in a lot of situations where it probably didn't need to be that. But, you know, I might have not had my exact eight hours of sleep. And well, I figured out that if I don't have that eight, then I'm I'm fragile in a sense. Um <laughs> And so they're nodding their heads. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so, yeah, I would say it was a lot of fun. It was uh, a lot of learning just because everyone is older than me. So just kind of see what five, four, six, ten years will do to a person. I had that to look forward to. But I was also like, damn, you know, 26, I am not resilient. Like you, you still let your emotions rule you for the most part. No, thank you. I love that honesty and that candor. So with all three of you, what you know in the house, there's always like there's the wild card, there's the mom, there's the dad, there's the partier, there's the hopeless romantic. Which one were you all? Preston? Mm. Oh, do you mind so asking I, that question one more time? Sorry, I, I missed it. Oh, no problem. You know how there's always like a certain like type of archetype or stereotype of each person in the house, like a, the father figure, the wild card, the partier, the hopeless romantic, the one that's always looking for love. Which oh, one do you want? Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, you want us to answer for each other or for ourselves? For um for yourselves. Um I think if anything, I would say I was mm, I don't know how to say this. Like I was the person who knew a lot of information. <laughs> About so a lot TMZ. of you were TMZ at a group. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I was definitely a question asker, you know, <laughs> those extra ERs, but also a resolver, right? Mm -hmm. Like I I, you know, I don't I was I was honest with everyone. Like I think if you wanted the truth, most people will come to me. Mm -hmm. Um it, whether it was whether it was gonna be good or bad. <laughs> Um, so I think that like the resolver slash truth teller, I don't know if Jordan and Amir would agree, but that that's what I would say. Nice. Jordan. I think I'm the truth teller too. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Um, and I also, I'm going to give myself the bombshell, honey. I was, and I'm claiming it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Amir. <laughs> or were you the baby of the group, Amir? Were you the baby? No, honestly, I, I think every, okay, they're not in their head again. I think everyone looked at me <laughs> no, as a baby, but I also no, no, weren't you I the youngest? I, surpri I, the youngest. I was the youngest, but I think I yeah. surprised my I surprised everyone with like my level of maturity and like my demeanor. Like I wasn't, you know, a bull in a china shop. Um, I definitely got the the label as the hopeless romantic in the house. That was that. That's something that I think everyone can agree on. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Now. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, and the athlete. And the athlete, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I have to I have to shade you. The athlete who didn't really win anything. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Hey. That's fucked up. Hey. The truth telling. The truth telling. <laughs> the truth telling. <laughs> you know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a precursor to what's going what we're all um, going to be looking forward to so uh you know now we'll flip it who was when you look at one of your housemates who was a housemate that you didn't realize you were probably gonna, you didn't know you were on butt heads with like you did alex why oh. alex, jordan <laughs> yeah honestly alex and silas <laughs> now, that, now that I'm thinking, now I'm marinating in it. Um, <laughs> I think they both have very strong opinions about relationships, um, their relationship with themselves, their relationship with women. Um, and I think sometimes that contradicted my relationships and my relationship as being a woman. So yeah, you'll you'll have to take a little peek at that little dynamics. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't butt heads often, um, but I will say if there's one person I did butt heads with was Silas, <laughs> and I think part of it. But you know, this is. I mean, this is part of. I mean, part of this I think is explored even in the first episode, right? Like I think Silas and I we did not get along when we first met each other. Um, I mean, we first met each other through through the fraternity, but 
but a lot of it was because our personalities were just different. Yeah. Um, and I think I saw that play out again continually as we were on the vineyard. And so it kind of took me back to who I initially remember him to be. Um, and recognizing that that probably hasn't changed. I probably just got used to it, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> um, so so Silas, honestly. Oh, perfect. Demir. So I'm I'm trying to recall the individual's name. Can Preston Jordan, can you help me out? No, I will, no, I'm not. Claim, we don't claim. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, then I, I, he you know, he who shall be not be named. I I didn't butt I didn't butt heads really with anyone. I was kind of the I was the chameleon of the group until, you know, push came to shove and I felt like everyone wasn't giving being given the same level of respect that I think that we had established in the house. Um, and that, that just kind of shows like, you know, what I'm willing to stand up for and who I'm willing to stand up for and how close I think we all got in a matter of two weeks. Nice. I love that. You know, in two weeks of not just black excellence, but that also there's a level, you know, how to argue, you know, how to be intentional with your words. How was that for you all? Because the thing is, after you get into a certain, we all know, once you're college educated, once you've been in this world, once you know how to do things, you know how to push people's buttons, you know how to make sure those words hit. You know, you're not just saying anything, you know, Preston's going to say something, he's going to make sure Jordan hears it, feels it, and everyone else gets around and hears it and feels it. So how was that with being in with a group of people for two weeks that could match that energy, you know, go back, go tit for tat, rhetoric for rhetoric, you know, like... I'll give oh, you what you gave me. You love it, I love it. I love it. I I appreciate someone who is sharp with their tongue, but understand exactly how to say it in a way that's not like the most like vicious. Yeah. But you are gonna walk away being like, "Wait, did they just cuss me out?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> but I love it. I love a wordsmith. Honestly, yeah. like I I oftentimes do not believe. Um, I mean, even though I've, I violated this once, <laughs> but I don't, I don't really believe you have to yell to get your point across, right? In a in a very sharp way. Like I think you can just look someone right in their eyes and be like, you know what? Let me shade you real quick about this like shirt you're wearing, right? Or let me shade you real quick about those shoes, <laughs> right? And that's that's us, right? Like that is like black educated professional folks all the time. So I lo I loved it. I love a wordsmith. <laughs> nice, Jordan. Um, I'm not quite as tactful uh, as Preston. I think uh, you are, though. I can be, but I also, I've definitely yelled a lot more than you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> admit, admittedly, I just, just have a moment of self-awareness. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. But I, I like to slice and dice with my words, too. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. How about you, Abir? Or were you, uh, I know you said you let your um, you know, anger get the best of you sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, I try, I'm not good with my words in the sense of, you know, Preston who can hurt someone in the heart and just kind of like make you be like, damn, is that really how I come off? I'm more of like, I'll just keep quiet. I'll throw a subtle shade. And then once it comes like to getting our hands dirty, I'm the one who's like, nah, 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 nah this, we're done talking. We're done doing all that. Um, so I think I just stand out from the group because everyone's willing to like talk to each other, yell at each other. And I'll just sit there, I'll blow up, and I'm like, well, so what are you going to do? Are we going to do this or what? Are we going to dance or not? Nice. Love that. You know, going back to about the whole representation, not saying, rep you know, when you said hashtag representation, all, you guys had so many things, I have, to, I have to take notes. But why do you think a show like this is really important that not just like, oh, it's going to be reality TV, but you know that oh, when people, especially Black people, when we tune in, we're going to like it and we're going to be hooked. We've never seen a show. We, we've never seen a show like this. That part. And like, I just, I think that's the beauty of it, right? You have like mid twenties to mid to late thirties. Um, <laughs> <so, laughs> I, I say that as the as one of the elders in the house. But, like, <laughs> but you know, we've never seen this dynamic. Like, it is. I think Jordan said it best earlier. Like, it is a like it's a mixture of the shade of housewives, right? the the fun of a real world right but not strangers and so you also get a bit of sweet life right and i think it's all of that mixed in one 
in a way that I have never seen, right? When I watched even the super trailer in the first episode, I was like, wow. Like I, cause the first of all, I want to be on the show. I hate it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Ooh, I don't, it's beautiful, but it's, it's such a great show. And we all look good. We all look great. <laughs> and that's another thing. <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> nice. Jordan, what about you? What do you think? I mean, I have to agree. There isn't anything else like this. Um, I think it's just such an amazing combination of just all the things that make a great show, especially adding the diversity um, of having an all black cast and then Bria's man that comes in. Um, so <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> and Milo, and Milo. I, I saw that part. And we'll get, <laughs> get on the I want to get on. I'll have ten minutes left to get on to some good stuff because <laughs> I saw everybody right. was looking like, "Who would you invite to dinner?" <laughs> Who's coming to dinner, Moby? <laughs> that part, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're all friends, mm -hmm. and um, seeing the dynamic of how we grow and how some people may grow up and grow out um, and apart from each other, it's just. It's real life. And I think that's a great, you know, little little tidbit that it's not scripted. It's not orchestrated. Like this is the real dynamic between us and how we navigate that. Nice. I love that. Amir, what you, what's your thoughts? You know, honestly, uh, there is like I know we, we keep saying it. Dang, I hate going last because y'all always take the good shit to say. <laughs> Thanks, I'm, I'm I'm man. We're gonna get you first before we end. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I also like hearing how they answer so that way I can make sure. Like, like I said, I'm not good with, I, I'm a speaker, but I don't articulate well. And so it's also nice to be able to hear how they form their thought. Uh, there isn't a show like this. And it's it's really cool because I'm someone, I don't watch a lot of TV. and But when I do, it's, it's always the good stuff. And being someone who, you know, is a huge fan of Summer House, um, even trying to compare it to that, something that people love and it has, you know, nine seasons, eight seasons of, I'm just like, even from this first one, right? We got it right the first time. Whereas it, it normally takes other shows for it to get to this point, multiple seasons and, you know, cycling of cast members. And so I'm just, I'm really proud and really happy with what we accomplished because, I mean, there's, there's no other words that could express like, how excited I am like especially to be a part of the show like you know everyone's always worried and yeah there isn't any worry in my mind it's all excitement nice I love that I have 10 minutes left with you all so I want to go and we'll start with Amir so he can get his uh, his first thoughts out um you know when you look back are you are you happy with how you portrayed yourself on camera and do you think the edits made you look a little more extra or do you feel like what we see is what we get Honestly, I think what you see is what you get, and that's that's a real big blessing. Um, I think that we're probably gonna have a lot of that. Is what you see is what you get, um, and I, I'm happy because I just wanted to offer a level of vulnerability and have something that people could tie to, and that's what I, I think that's what I accomplished, and that's what the show wanted. Nice, Jordan. I mean, I think for the most part, we were all super authentic um, and true to who we who we are. Obviously, how things are put together and how a story is told, you know, can reflect a certain part of ourselves. Um, but for the most part, yeah, we were it, we were keeping it real, keeping it one hundred. Yeah, Preston. Agreed. I mean, I think that anytime, right, you put a group of people together, you're going to have a mixture of personalities that vibe one day and don't vibe the next day. Um, and I think that's real, right? That's real friendships. That's real life. Um, mm -hmm. And personally, I was I was happy with how I came off, right? Because I I I was authentic. Jordan was authentic. Amir was authentic. It was like you, you blend in some moments, you don't blend in others. And so I, I think what you see is exactly what you get. And you know, there may be some folks who won't love that sometimes, right? But I also think that's about processing, right? There are moments you're like, shit, I know I could have handled that better, right? And maybe I don't love how it looks today, but recognizing that there are moments that are ugly that we go through and we don't say things the right way and we yell in some moments, right? But that's real. Nice. And you know, and I love that you all are professionals running your own businesses and at C-suite um, levels and different things because 
I think it really shows the new narrative of black excellence where it can be degreed up, juris doctorate, but you can also have a good time. You can turn up, you can have fun. It doesn't have to feel, you know, it doesn't have to feel a counterpart to like, you know, whiteness almost, you know what I mean? So you can see that black excellence is whatever you want it to be. And with that being said, if you all have to choose one cast member to at least bring back and choose one that you're like, uh, if they don't come back, I'm okay. Who would those two people be? <laughs> that's, shady Yo, that's, a good, that's a good question. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> who would you want back and who could stay home? <laughs> well, my husband had to come back. Preston has to come back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> that's tough. That's so tough. <laughs> oh, that's oh. Oh, I, I, I know I, Preston has to come back because he, he was my piece. Like he was the dude that like really like leveled me out. Like he allowed, because again, he's really good with his words and thoughts and processing. So I feel like I would come to him and ramble and he would take what I, he would like funnel it out and yeah. give me like a formulated thought with a solution. And I was just like, I need this. And like in a house full of chaos and drama, like you need that. Oh, nice. And then the person, the person that I wouldn't invite back, I know, you know, <laughs> so tricky. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say, um, I'm gonna have to go with Alex. Oh, because I, I because I I want I I want to be the only pretty boy in the house, <laughs> and I feel like I feel like he's direct competition with me. So I've just gotta I've gotta ix name. Darwinism at its finest. Look, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> The art of war, get out, get out. <laughs> so I, so, I mean, if I have one, if I have one person to pick, I would say Jordan to stay for sure to come back. Um, I think- No hard feelings, to... got it. No, I mean, listen, you are, you are, you are he second. Said, you are right he there. Mike. He could have said listen, Mike. Jordan she, and Amir is tough. I need my twins, she <laughs> Listen, she's going to follow up for a divorce and I can't let that happen. Um, the person, I would say, I would have to say the person, if I had to pick who would not come back, I would pick Jason. Um, like, I think it will make our, like, it will make our listening a lot shorter um, because Jason takes 35 minutes to reach half of a point. And so, <laughs> love him dearly, but I would have to say that. I would have to say Jason. Jordan. I'm going to go with Alex, not because he's pretty, but because, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's just going to have to be Alex. I don't have any other logical explanation other than, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> perfect well look we're almost out of time so before we go i just want to ask each of you what should we look forward to this season the first season the series premiere of this show mm. wow where to look, begin? i know <laughs> it's such a big question because it's so important but i think i mean listen i think you oh my god i just can't wait to see people's like perception of it right like i you have organic friendships you have love, you have somewhat hate occasionally, <laughs> right? You have parties, you have blackness, you have cocoa butter and shea butter and pools and my mac and cheese, right? Yes. There are so many things. <laughs> There's so many things that you have on the show that, I mean, I, I, I listen, if people don't like it, I, I really do. I'm sorry for them and their lack of taste because <laughs> it is going to be a beautiful show. <laughs> nice, Jordan. I mean, I'm really just going to have to add an exclamation point to that um, because there is nothing like it. And so people need to tune in to vibe with us, to get to know us, to see our friendships, um, to see our good times, to see our bad times and go on the roller coaster. It's roller coaster summer house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amir. So sorry, I lost service. Can you repeat the, that question? Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, what should we be looking forward to for this um, series premiere in this first season of this new hit show? Man, I mean, there's there's not a whole lot to look forward to. I would say the biggest thing that I would want people to keep an eye on is just kind of the the dynamics and the fluidity of how our relationships are built. Just because you never really know, like, who is feeling one way about another or not. Like, you think you have it nailed. And then, you know, it, it, it completely changes. 
based on like one conversation, one interaction, one competition, you know, an activity. So I would say like, that's what I would really want people to look forward to is just like how dynamic things really are, because it's not what it's going to pan out to be. Nice. Perfect. Well, thank you all. We have actually five minutes. I want to do a little rapid fire for fun for Preston and Jordy, because I know this is going to get them and Amir. So who's the sexiest male in the house? Amir. Go ahead, Preston. Tell him. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Amir, he said Amir. He said Amir. <laughs> okay, you got that, Amir. Who's the sexiest a woman? Jordan. Jordan. Perfect. Who's the yeah. loudest? The, the loudest, loudest Bria. Pro probably me, honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Preston. Yeah. Who throws the most shade? Ooh, Alex. <laughs> Who's always caught in the middle of the drama? Bria. Bria. <laughs> Who's always starting the drama? Hmm. That's a good question. Honestly? I think, I think Alex for Silas, honestly. You guys want to say Silas? Most opinionated. Silas, yeah. Silas, most opinionated too. Who's never wrong? Mm -hmm. Me. <laughs> Let me see. I think that's int me. Summer. Uh, yeah, it's Preston. Pres summer, <laughs> summer for sure. Summer and Preston have it a good tie. <laughs> who had the who? Who do you think had the most fun on the show? Because they just gave no cares and they just did whatever Shanice. they want. Shanice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, now, oh, actually, you know what, Milo. Oh yeah, <laughs> Milo did. But Shanice had a moment. Milo. Oh, moment. Sure. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you all. That's all. That's what they did off a little rapid fire fun with you all. So I do appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today about the new show. Super excited to look forward to um, seeing everything and wish you guys a second season already. Oh, us so too. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs>